Welcome to PFS. Uh, in this video, we will try to show what we can do with Excel using the option button and slicer. Here you can see uh, uh, an Excel table and this table show diff the first column show different month and the second column show different types of government securities like uh, the treasury bill and treasury bonds are traded and the number three column shows is, is the option value, option, option amount uh, in terms of face value. Uh, please note that these are all hypothetical data and uh, what we can see in this column, you can see that the total value in uh, any in in the, in the in the sample period traded is uh, 273,288 crore. And now the question is uh, where how how we can change this amount by selecting different option button. Here I select the uh, average uh, column. Uh, so the average button by selecting the average. Um, uh, option we can see the average value traded in this sample period is uh, 415 and if we select the max column uh, the max option the max max option shows you the maximum value and the mean when you select the mean you can see that the minimum value is 2 crore and the total amount uh, you can see that 273,288 crore and the same thing can be performed using the slicer if you if I select the uh, average here you can see that uh, it is uh, 415 if I select the max it is 1600 if I select the mean it is shown as 2 uh, crore and the total amount is shown showing as the 273,288 crore uh, now the question is how we what are the tools needed to create this um, excel sheet and uh, by using those um, formulas and functions and different things we can uh, create such a wonderful uh, excel sheet uh, if we go to the uh, sheet 2, we can see what are the functions and tools needed to create this uh, Excel. Uh, if you see, uh, we used choose function here, we use the Excel table, we use the sum function, we use the average function, we use the concatenate function, we use the option button, we use the slicer, pivot table, maximum function, minimum function. All these are combined into a single sheet to create this type of, uh, also we use the developer button. Uh, so the maximum, minimum, average, and total, it is changing depending on the uh, what type of data we want to see. So if you want to uh, learn such uh, advanced Excel tricks and financial modeling, please join the PFS uh, to learn about financial modeling and advanced Excel tricks. Uh, we will uh, initiate our uh, another course on financial modeling uh, from October 8th, uh, Saturday. We yet to uh, disseminate the brochure, but you will. Uh, soon see the brochure apart from that if you want to uh, study CFA you can join uh, PFS if you study FRM you can join PFS so PFS is working as a hub where uh, we can learn many things about finance Excel and different types of uh, things